So Henry, obviously, Aaron Pico, they're hyping him up. You're the guy brought in to spoil the show for him. What are your thoughts going into the fight? Uh, just excited about the opportunity, dude. Big stage, big, uh, big event. Um, I'm not, I, I grew up not too far from here, so we have a lot of buddies in town, you know, watching the fight, and uh, we're looking forward to it, man. You're obviously, you know, you're a guy, you, you know, you've been in his shoes, you've been a young guy putting in work in the sport. I mean, what are your thoughts on him as you've watched him and how he's developed? He's a good dude, he brings the noise. You know, he's smashing these guys, he's putting them away. And, you know, when we got the call, you know, it was just fucking exciting, you know? Like, let's fucking do it, you know? And uh, we haven't taken preparations lightly for this guy, you know? He's, just, he's a serious opponent and we're fucking looking forward to it. What's that mean, man? Uh, you said you grew up around here, you got a lot of buddies coming. Oh, you yeah, dude. To Not too fight. far from here, yeah. La Mirada, Whittier area. So, so we're gonna have a lot of familiar faces in the crowd. You know, it's my third year fighting here. Uh, same time, same event, so it's like in January, so it's it's become like an annual thing, and uh, it's it's not getting old. It's it's pretty exciting. Make the appointment, huh? Just have every year, just make the appointment for. for yeah, let's fucking year. do it. Yeah, <laughs> after my last fight, I just fought in October, and uh, I was like, hey, what's up? You guys are going back to LA. Let me get on that card, and they're like, oh, come on, you're on there. And I was like, oh, hell yeah. You uh, you mentioned you're from La Habra, Whittier. La Mirada, Whittier area. Right, like Pico's kind of from from the same. Yeah. Area. Did you guys know about each other kind of uh not at all dude no no we come from different uh different backgrounds you know um different generations too you know i'm, I'm 30 he's uh you know he's in his early 20s so uh different generation we don't even fucking i guess when the fight got announced people were like oh so and so knows you know but it's like fuck whatever well where does this uh fight i guess land for you as far as like career uh, importance wise, I mean, obviously he's a prospect coming up, there's a lot of uh, you know, hype around him and stuff, but yeah, you know, I mean, you are obviously a fight, you, you know what I mean? You, you've had your own, uh, your own career, your own wins and losses. I mean, yeah. where, where does this kind of rank for you, dude? Uh, each fight, you know, luckily, you know, I'm super grateful for these opportunities that I have in my career. Each fight gets bigger and bigger, regardless of the name, you know, it could have been somebody else's fight and it would have been the biggest fight of my career, you know. Uh, I took some losses when I first came into the sport when I first came into Bellator, you know, as an undefeated fighter. And, uh, you know, I learned from those and I just been chipping away, just just trying to earn this spot that I'm in now. And so, yeah, like I said, I'm super grateful for the opportunity. And the only the only way I can show gratitude to myself is fucking work my ass off. I just keep grinding, dude, and uh, make sure I bring, you know, I bring all my tools to the party, dude, so we can have a good night Saturday. With, uh, with the, the label of co-main event on it, does that add anything to it for you or a fight to fight? Uh, yeah, if anything, it adds like a little bit more excitement. You know, just when you think like, fuck, you're fighting your hometown, tough guy. I'm already fucking like, yeah, let's fucking get it. And then throw that on the top and I'm like, hell yeah, even cooler. What's, what, what, just from LA, obviously you're from, kind of, I'm from Whittier as well. Like where, oh, uh, what, what's the post fight meal gonna be, man? Or post weigh-in meal, I guess. Well, fuck, oh, post weigh-ins? Yeah. Oh, dude, healthy shit. Just like mostly, <laughs> I guess most, post fight then. yeah, mostly li shit. mostly liquids and shit. But post fight, since we'll have a group, you know, we'll have a bigger group. We'll have to go to like one of these chains, like Buffalo Wild Wings or something. Get all get all my buddies all smashed and stuff. <laughs> get some wings and just grab. So, what do you okay. make of all the attention surrounding Aaron? The, uh, the accelerated push he's done. Dude, he has some amateur credentials, dude, and they're not to be overlooked, you know. And at the same time, dude, this guy's fucking smashing people. He's putting people away, so it's, I think it's justified. No big deal, you know? I like when guys get attention. That's fucking cool for the sport, you know what I mean? That means, you know, that the sport's doing well and people like it, so it's all good, man. Uh, I noticed you had the Korean zombie up with your entourage. Oh, uh, that's my buddy, dude, yeah. yeah what, what is, is he a training partner? What, what is yeah, that yeah, yeah. We're, we're trying to get him to move out here to the States. He's, he's out here, he's out here uh, training, visiting the lab, the MMA lab in Phoenix, Arizona. I just moved, I moved out there not too long ago. With Benson Henderson, Coach Crouch, and Eddie Cha, and uh, yeah, he's. I think we. I think he's gonna make the move. But no, did y'all train together for this, or is he yeah, just? Yeah, he's, oh, yeah, he's a boy, dude. Oh, okay. Not, not so much, cause uh, you know he just fought. So yeah, but we're there. We're working. Awesome. <laughs> Thanks. All right. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Thanks guys. Thanks, Henry.